Hi and welcome back to Neural Splendor. This should look familiar. This was the video that I just posted where I asked you to figure out what you saw that was wrong inside the engine. And it's actually right at the very end of the video. And there we are. See the J-cap missing on number five and number two. We're going to take a closer look at that because there was some other problems. So here's a close-up of the Jake levers. And there you can see the cap is actually torn out of there. And the snap ring is still in place. And the bottom of the cap is in there. And the customer said that his Jake's were acting quirky. They didn't hold like they used to hold. And now look at this one. This one is on its way out. The cap is pulled out from under the snap ring. It's really just, it was a matter of probably moments before that popped out of there. So here's a still photo of one of the other caps. And as you can see, there's a lot of wear there between the snap ring. Those caps have been working hard. Here's a new Jake lever. This is the part number of the Jake currently. That black pin in the hole is the detent. That job is to hold that lever in a neutral position when the jakes are off. If that fails or if the shaft egg shapes, the roller can tap the cam or the front will tap the valve because the lever won't sit in a locked position. When you pull the cover off and rock that lever, it should like snap in and lock in place. Not real tight, but, but snug. When the oil is turned on by the jake solenoid, it goes up into that hole and pushes that pin up. And then it floods the front of the lever and that large piston on the front comes out and stays out against the pin that's on top of the valve that it actuates. The Jake cam lobe will lift the lever, lifts the back of the Jake up, a check valve holds the oil in it, and that piston in the front, which is extended, will push the valve down. And that actually happens. It opens one exhaust valve while the engine is on the compression stroke near the top. And so the Jake brake turns a diesel engine into a big air compressor. And that's how it works because the compression ratio in a diesel is very high. Thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor.